Uh, hello everybody, Ian Rops here, welcome back to Emerald Coast USA. Alright, we're trying to finish up the last little bit of this harvest here. Before it gets too late. Um, so we're going to try to try to finish it up, we'll see what happens here. Um, and we're still dropping the straw down, well, still spreading the straw out there, or the chaff I should say. So that we can... Uh, Uh, so that we can, uh, of course, get our second stage of fertilization at 99%. Apparently our uh, course by driver is just driving up beside us now. Which is fine for the time being. Not ideal, of course, but I'd rather have that than uh, wait on the side and not come and load me and just make my life that much more difficult, I suppose. So, Anyway, I do like that overloader, actually. That's a cool little overloader from the, uh, the Platinum DLC. Now we do, because we are into the first day of autumn now, uh, our grass over there looks like it could be mown again, which is good. Let's find out as we make the turn around here. Oh yeah. You can see how it's going to be, uh, or it could be mown. There we go. Now hopefully our other tractor, uh, the one that's sitting on the side of the field there, is O-A-OK -okay for now at least so. Because we have what? What does it look like? Two, three passes? Including this one, three passes it looks like. So we're going to have to do some fall tillage on this. Which I guess I could just hire a worker right now. And uh, hop over to one of my other tractors and get that started right now. Uh, I planted oilseed radish on this field over here. As you can see. Or maybe not. So, that's just ready to go. I don't know why I put it right here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, I can probably drive through that little opening there. I think. I know the tractor can get through it, but I'm not sure about the cedar. We're gonna find out here in a second. Looks like we're okay, perfect. All right, so let's get some fall tillage again going here. Uh, I guess we could just, uh, I don't believe it needs to be, um, I don't believe it needs to be plowed, but let's take a quick peek just in case it does. I think we did that last year, so yeah. Let's just grab our, uh, our tiller here. Looks like other tractor is in traffic, go figure. I don't know why, but this this one seems to get in the way. Just for the way it, uh, I have it set up, I guess. There we go. But I think even when I had it set up right beside the tractor, like right over here, I think it was still considered in its way. There we go. All right, so let's grab uh, this guy right here. So it's going to be in the way. Well, we should be able to grab that. All right, let's go ahead and get some fall tillage started. <laughs> Gotta love how that steering wheel just randomly comes down out of nowhere. That seems like that at least, but it, it's not. But it just looks that way at least. All right, let's grab this. So we had wheat in here before. And what we can do here is... So we don't have anything on the... F so we just have the wheat that we took off. We got the straw in there. So we need to put a little bit of uh, fertilizer down too. I'm just realizing at least. What we'll do is we'll put some fertilizer down. And we'll get some fall tillage started here. I know this isn't the biggest cultivator, but this is what we had at the moment. So we'll start off with that and then maybe we'll get annoyed with this and get something bigger. So, so far... I really, I realize I haven't really made a whole lot of money in this farm yet, which is kind of funny. Uh, oh, we got a tractor right there, perfect. So let's grab this. This is a kind of a big tractor for this particular activity, but it'll do the job. There we go. And let's get hooked up to our fertilizer spreader here. I, 
I guess I could just hire a worker to do this too. Probably. I know it's gonna miss some though. Uh, what is this? Field five, I guess that this is. Do I have a field five? No, apparently not. So let's go grab field five here real quick. Starting corner, we'll start with the current vehicle position, automatic. We'll have it do one headland around. And we'll do have it do the headland at the end. And generate the course. And we'll call this. Uh, actually, before I do this, let's uh, cancel that course and have it return to first point activated, yes. It's nicer when I don't have to go chase after it. There it is, perfect. All right, and then we'll call this F5 fertilizer. F5 vert, 50 meters. There we go, perfect. I don't know if you guys noticed the tires spreading out in that or not. Where are you going? The first waypoint's up here, apparently. Oh, apparently there's a whole bunch of wheat that we haven't got up there. Where are you going? Oh. Because the first waypoint's all the way over here. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but... Yeah, so it goes from there, the starting point, all the way over there, and then it goes up and down, up and down, and up and down. Huh. That's different. And you're on your last pass anyways now, which is perfect. So let's grab this guy and get him out of the way. I don't know why he stopped in the way, but, you know, course play sometimes. I'm just going to circle around behind the combine here. Looks like it's got one more pass. From the looks of it, at least. Can we get this without crushing too much of the crop? Uh, maybe. Looks like I'm not close enough for the combine still. There we go. So we have to crush a little bit, apparently. There's a bit more there than I thought there was, so. All right. So it's gonna do its last pass there. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. And we'll start in the same spot as the other tractor because that's what makes sense in this scenario. Because we need to make sure we get the fertilizer and the fertilizer and the tillage done in the same spot. Otherwise, it's kind of ineffective. I don't know if I'll be able to see it from above. Let's see here. Let's make it over on this side. Should be able to. Nope. Oh, well, right over here, I guess I can kind of see it. turn and let's verify we can actually start in this location fertilization yeah that's fine and let's bring out the offset here to zero there we go and close that down There we go, and that'll give us two stages of fertilization, basically. So there are a few, well, there are quite a few options for uh, tillage. Like I said before, it'll be curious to see whether or not they put John Deere tillage stuff in here or not. Um, that's what I'm kind of curious about. Because there's lots and lots of, so there's so much John Deere equipment, it's fun, not even funny. So we'll have to see. But I think I may upgrade this cultivator at some point. 
This is what, 12 meters, I think? Well, this thing in real life is quite expensive. But in the game, it seems like it's a small little one. And relatively speaking, I suppose it is kind of small. Just based on, uh... Just based on, the, uh, I guess, greater scheme of things. Alright. What kind of turn are you going to make here? You were going to skip a pass. Okay, that's fine, I guess. And you are blocked by this guy. There we go. Perfect. So this is kind of the thing that uh, when you have multiple tractors in the field, uh, especially with course play, it's always interesting to see how they all play together and how well they play together, if they play together at all. So, anyhow. This is a pretty big tractor, I suppose. But what is it, 600 horsepower or so? Yeah, 620 horsepower. So theoretically, this tractor can pull that, that, that's the one we have right now for 300 horsepower. You could pull that, which is 14 and a half meters. Could pull that one. Or the flexi coil. And then there's a couple other options in here too. I think from other, uh, that's just too small. 12 meters, the same size we have right now. And then the Kraus accelerator which is 15.5 meters, which I could pull too, so. We'll stick with the Lemkin for now. Helper K has finished their task. That must be the combine. All right. Let's get this turned around here. I'm just gonna hold on. Just leave the cultivator drop downs because doesn't make a huge difference. So I'm probably going over some stuff that the uh, fertilizer guy has not done yet, so. Making his way along there. Looks like our combine's done, according to what it thinks, and it's almost fully unloaded here. There we go. 16 liters. Although this isn't John Deere green, this this particular uh, Ovalor is just a different style because it's got the extra dolly axle, oh, dolly style, or the extra axle on the front, steerable axle, I guess we can call it, as opposed to uh, the other one. So, all right, let's unload it here. There we go. And can you actually lower that down? I don't know if you can or not. Don't know if that other tractor can handle all that wheat. No. Almost all of it. Anyways. Let's continue on here. Let's see if we can't get at least one more pass before I gotta get off to work. Do a little bit of fall tillage. Early autumn. So I guess right now, in September, mid-September right now for us here, I guess this would be considered early autumn for us as well right now. So the temperatures are starting to drop on a regular basis. Starting to see some below 30 degree weather, which has been nice. So anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Hope you enjoy. My name's Ian Rops, and if you like us, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Emerald Coast USA. I'll catch you guys later.